Hello friends. Welcome to Creative Edge Top Rankers. Friends, my name is Rajendra Bhatia and I, today I am here for a very important subject that you might be looking forward for. That is last minute revision for NIFT 2024. I'm sure you have been uh, trying your best to work out your uh, questions for NIFT, your preparation for both GAT and CAT. But today I'm going to talk about the creative ability test, which is uh, the uh, which is really really scoring subject. Before going ahead with the creative ability uh, test questions, let me um, remind uh, all of you that NIFT 2024 syllabus is that the NIFT entrance examination comprises of two parts. Part one, prelims. No, you know it as prelims, but then it is part one. Written exam, GAT and CAT. Part two means practical assessment, situation test for BDES or personal interview for PG students. The GET includes sections like quantitative ability, communication, and English, whereas English comprehension, analytical and logical ability, GK and current affairs, and case study. Well, friends, the CAT test is administered to evaluate the intuitive ability, power of observation, concept development and design ability of the candidate. Very, very important part of NIFT. Candidates must pass prelims to proceed to the situation test. The examination is scheduled for February 5, 2024. Exam pattern, as you know, general ability test is a computer-based exam offered in both Hindi and English lasting 120 minutes. It comprises multiple subjects like 50 marks for communication ability and English comprehension, 15 marks for GK and current affairs, 20 marks for quantitative ability, and 15 marks for the verbal ability test, totaling 100 marks. Friends, Contrarily, the CAT examination consists of only three questions, spans a duration of three hours, and carries a total of 100 marks. We will now see um, something very interesting, how the entrance examination weightage for each test. NIFT Bachelor of Design BDES program, CAT 50%, creative ability is 50%, to which I'm going to give you some tips as a last minute revision. Then GAT 30%. So in the part one, that is the first uh, round, or uh, the prelims, as you know commonly, will be having a weightage of 80%. This is a written test. Later on, if you have successfully cleared it, then you are subjected to a situation test, material handling. Following the NIFT prelims, you will view your score if you haven't progressed past the initial round. See. This is very important. You will see your marks if you have not cleared the prelims, if you have not cleared the part one examination, if you have not cleared the, the written test. However, now you will see the score there. However, if you successfully advance to the next round, that is the situation test, 
you will be notified of your shortlisting. Okay. And without any access to your specific score. So you do not know what is your rank while you are clearing the first round. At this point in time, you will really work hard to um, get maximum marks in situation tests. Any which ways, anybody who is sincere for getting into NIFT will not leave any stone unturned. I'm very sure. So you will only be allowed to sit in the situation test in case you have cleared the first round of the written test comprising of GAT and CAT. Right, friends? Chalo, hava na jate hain abhi questions pe. Kaise question aa sakte hain? Aur uh, unko quickly kaise hum revise kar sakte hain? Mera pehla question hai, jo NIFT ka favorite hai, two dimension design. Design a boundary around gate of a fort. A fortress. Now people I have seen like they start doing uh, miniature drawings here, here, kind of a thing. No, just do one little colored, not even black and white here, a little colored like this, just one section of the total border that you are here. Okay. Don't do every this thing and then show the enlargement of it as a full drawing and coloring. Here is uh, something if there was uh, this design, any open choice, I could have taken uh, animal or I mean, it's a good sign for the entrance to have an elephant around there. Or you could have uh, other uh, drawings like geometrical. Yeah, they do mention at times that you have to do a geometrical design as the design for the entrance of the fort or maybe something similar to that. So for that matter, you should be ready and this is how you would um, present your design. In this design, I have used primary colors. Why primary colors? Primary colors are pretty bold and visible from uh, a distance. There is a lot of contrast among them. So primary colors, you could also use analogous colors um, and maybe split complementary colors. So, well, this is for the two dimension design. I would prefer you to write a few notes here, maybe leave some space and write down what you have done. I have done an animal design. I have used uh, primary colors. I have um, used uh, an ethnic design kind of a thing, Anna, and I'm balancing it uh, color-wise as well. So all that which examiner can observe and give you marks should be written by you. You will fetch better marks, okay? That will show an intelligence of this candidate to the examiner that what he is doing or she is doing is uh, uh, very cautiously done, very um, intellectually understood and done in the and so and yes, these are the key sketches. Don't forget to do them. Maybe you have memorized this kind of a design, but key sketches shows that yes, you have tried out this, this, and even one more. Maybe it could be just a flower design kind of a thing, or, or that sort of a key sketch, at least three key sketches, okay? And uh, then you choose one of them and then draw it. Next of the question. 
you have read about metamorphosis like particularly in your 10th class metamorphosis from egg to butterfly uh, or from egg to hen um, well in this case they may give you like a biomorphic design i hope you know what is biomorphic bio means uh, a living thing um, and morphic means resembling so they may give you a biomorphic kind of a uh, the thing or they can just tell maybe <clears throat> another question i'll tell you can you design a a balloon from a snake similarly here the question is there is a grasshopper okay from grasshopper what all can you draw i have given some of the example hair pen stapler punching machine hair clutch so what does it show the brain is storming right after the brain is storming you do step wise sketches as so how this will be metamorphed into a punching machine a punching machine so i have shown thorax and named it as t i have shown eyes i named it as e and see how the e getting converted here the thorax getting converted here like the wings getting converted w as wings and a as abdomen and the final picture so there would be a pin cartridge which is come out as a tongue from here material by which products made by any and and features for example stainless steel plastic alloy brass aluminum select by selection by rejection keep on rejecting as you are pitted into an examination and the the jury or the examiner um do the selection by rejection any mistake they would reject the person or uh, any lacuna in the creative ability they will reject the person similarly when you note down the the possible materials you should um find out the right material and write it out i bahut important question hota hai scene creation and i have team i think uh, maximum number of folk scene creation pe hote so there may be many many type of uh, scene creation you might have studied so far for a revision i am giving you a little tough question little tough in the sense um the level is um seed or nift sorry uh, nid and that would be like this is one of my own created question the person with the circle has turned his face towards the wing now the person in the circle who is getting down from the aircraft has turned his face towards the wings okay the aircraft wings of the aircraft redraw the scene from the person's point of view and shade and shadow the sketch with pencil agrify it 
want to see the result? Do you want to see the answer to this? Look. From the staircase, now he is looking towards the wings of the aircraft. Now, this is the aircraft. So there are other planes visible to uh, to the person who has turned there. Then th this is the building of the airport, all sort of things. And this is the part of the gate from where he is coming out. Okay. So a scene creation could be very interesting, you must have revised quite many a time. Another question, I'm giving it for your interest. Imagine you are at a pedestrian crossing, waiting near the traffic, signal for the light to turn green. There is a bustling scene on the main road with many people in front of you, now draw the scene from your point of view, as if you are there. Answer to this. Now this is not you, this is not you. This is the person in front of you. Then there is a traffic police, the half of the bus scene here, then a motorcycle by the side of it, an auto rickshaw, and two kids crossing the other way around. And you can see that the, the um, policeman has stopped the traffic. So a well-composed scene, whenever you are composing a scene, remember one thing. You should, your positive space that means all the elements included should cover about 70 to 80 percent of the total space. There has to be at the same time 20 to 30 percent blank area or the negative spaces. Okay, so that is a good composition. What other thing have you noticed in this sketch? The perspective. Look at the size of children coming. And as compared to the person, I expect this person to be of your height who is, who is watching all this. So the children coming here are of smaller size. Look at the policeman. We call it as foreshortening, right? Your eye level would be the roof of an auto rickshaw that also is known. We move on to the next question, a 3D design. Draw a cone, cylinder, a cuboid box, and a glass with different materials. You can choose them from the list mentioned below, either wood, paper, transparent plastic, steel, opaque plastic. Answer is given here only. Okay? Cylinder, I have chosen it as wood. Paper, I have selected the paper box here. Transparent plastic is the cone here. And steel is the water container, the glass. Okay? You could, I mean, while in practice, you could change the material. However, remember in such 3D, composition. Keep the transparent thing in forefront. 
keep the transparent thing in forefront. Then you should have a good knowledge of the psychography, the shadow casting from maybe you can also take the light source like this, draw an asterisk and find out where would be the shadow. Now look at the shadow of the transparent plastic container. The light would travel through it. This would be dark and this would be light and this will be high light. It is opposite to a solid material. And here is one tip which will get you maximum marks. As a little mentioning here, you can also mention what you have done. I have selected wood as cylinder, paper as the uh, box, a transparent plastic as the cone, and steel as the glass. And yes, I have taken one light source to cast the shadows. Note, the light passes through the transparent material and there would be little highlight kind of a light on the shared shadow of the transparent material. Shades will be darker towards the light and highlight would be on the opposite side. Now this is true for all the transparent material, whether you are making a bulb or you're making a um, glass filled of water or, uh, or maybe just a cuboid of made up of glass. Communication is important. Stem design, another um, question which you can expect in 2024, because there was a question last year also which we have solved here. To commemorate the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, the government of India has invited ideas from young minds to design a circular postage stamp. Uh, the price is 20 rupees and depict your idea for the stamp in the given format, incorporating colors. A secret mark. Stamp should have all these qualities. Denomination, country name, graphic design, text elements, hidden element is the secret mark. You know, a stamp is as good as currency and that's why such marks are important to be placed. Now, in an IFT kind of a uh, competitive exam, somebody doing it ethically correct, ethically what is required. You know, you can score very good marks. So, hidden element, secret mark, that is what I have told you, shape and size. Generally, they give you a printed border so you don't have to really work out all those details. Now with Gandhiji, charka is one of the element. Non-violence is another uh, thing that they, um, Gandhiji always wanted. Plus, Swachh Bharat was his dream. So his specs with Swachh Bharat is symbolic to Gandhiji. Then Swachh Bharat, Sukha Kachra, Bio Waste, or Gila Kachra. Okay? Somebody gave me thanks of speaking in English. It's fine. Abhi to NIFT, Hindi or English dono mein hone lag gaya. To mera bolna bhi thoda ek tarfa nahi ra jaye. That is how I'm using in between uh, Hindi as well. Any which ways, I'm sure the message is being uh, 
or getting conveyed to you and that's what is important to me. So such kind of a working, you should get yourself reminded and do not forget the salient features of a stamp design. Storyboarding. One of the story that I created here only in Creative Edge Top Rankers. And the story is about, um, I named this girl as uh, um, Jerry and this dog as Tom. So the popular names have been taken up here. While drawing this sketch, I have used law of third. Main figures on the golden focal points. Everywhere, you can see it everywhere. For storyboarding, now this is uh, a little story I can narrate you in just uh, one minute that uh, uh, a small doggy is being chased by uh, stray dogs and uh, yeah, the doggy enters uh, Jerry's uh, house compound and uh, uh, she let the Jerry come in and, uh, sorry, uh, let the Tom come in. Now Tom will be named after the, the, she has got, got the dog inside. And then cl uh, quickly close the door. So the stray dogs are left behind, behind the door. Then she started um, nurturing the dog and then uh, and the dog is uh, well fed and uh, she started playing and soon they became friends. So Jerry cites a small puppy who was chased by stray dogs. She saved the puppy by closing the door. Now this story has to be written here, full story. And there is no need of carrying the same words here, but try to describe what you have drawn. This is a story depicted in four frames. They may be asking a story in five frames also. Second thing of story writing, do not ever write dialogues here. When we write dialogues, we write dialogues in a comic strip. Even we, we, um, we can give the sounds, dai, dushum, all kind of a sound can be written in, in comic strip. But this cloud making in a storyboarding, not allowed. Always have a small space to describe your sketch. Jerry and Tom became friends and used to play, okay? Then comes a time, a robber chasing Jerry with a knife in his hand. Then comes the time Tom attacked the robber. Okay? Writing a moral of the story is also very important. Describing the scene is as important as writing the moral of the story. Describing the scene that one fine morning um, in winter, a small puppy entered Jerry's house. Kind of, you know, you create an atmosphere of the story while you're writing the story. Here you are only describing the sketch. Okay? So this is it and you could be very precise. And the moral of a story, can anybody guess? A friend in need is a friend indeed. So that's the moral of this story.
comic strip. Now you can see the difference. You must have heard about this story, Corona time. And uh, this is a Vikram and Betal series that has been used here. And no description here. It is all to be understood. My people are dying. What can I do for, to save them? Only one can, one man can save your people. And that name of the person is vaccine. So, Betal, what word starts with V and ends with E? So, he narrates vaccine. And so the Vital jump over onto the shoulder of Vikram and the, the comic strip story changes the, that Betal takes Vikram to the vaccine center so that his people could be saved. So my motive of telling you this difference is that the story may not be the same, but it, the, how to really depict it, how to uh, differentiate between a comic strip and, uh, and a storytelling. Friends, both the things may not come in one paper. Okay? As such creative uh, ability test, there are three questions, but three questions have got A, B, A, B kind of subdivision as well. Okay? Total marks are 100. But the weightage is 50% of the NIFT examination for BDES. Now in a poster design, you know, again, negative space has to be larger. Okay? It has to have a bold message. And a caption. Now here, my friend, who has done this has used serif fonts, which is not good. Delete this. Although my example is there, but delete all the uh, serif and make it sans serif presentation. Okay? So that's about poster design. Again, you can use um, kind of key sketches for poster design. And uh, the message should be clear. The poster design may come with a title to you. And uh, that's what. And the title to this one was like uh, um, the self-respect. And do not allow the others to. If they are not giving you a respect, they should not give a disrespect to you. So you maintain your self-respect. That is the message being given here. Other two posters that I have depicted here. Knowledge is like a mop. It cleans up filth from one's my mind. These are not colored. And uh, the message here, get educated. The quotation that was given in the examination was of Rabindranath Tagore, saying that where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free. Said by Rabindranath Tagore, and I have used a very interesting, maybe an out-of-box sketch to depict that filth of mind. Everybody has got negative thinking as well as positive thinking. So once you gain knowledge, the filth is mobbed off. That is the message in this poster. Human creating his own seat, Hanumanji creating his own seat and refuse to sit on the floor before Raman. Now this is again for that respect the previous one. Now, where has it come from? Buddha once said, you cannot force someone to show respect. 
but you can refuse to be disrespected. Again, an out of box thinking, I went into the um, mythological um, answer and uh, we find that, yes, there was an incident described in Ramayan saying that Hanmanji um, firstly increased the size of his tail and then um, made it taller than the seat of Raman and said, okay, you don't want me to be respected by you all. I'll have my own self-respect. In fact, in this incident, Raman actually asked him to sit on floor, being a monkey there. So friends, poster design, followed by you can prepare some sequential drawings. Here are three of them given. Wax to candle making. You know, wax comes from, original wax comes from where? Beehives. Beehive, they uh, are made up of wax. So what I have done here, I've given smoke to bees, so they fly off. Then in uh, a container, the beehive is boiled, so melted, then sieved through, and the mold for a wax is a paper mold, or it could be, it could be a glass material. So here I have used a glass material, putting a thread in the center, thick thread for uh, the wax. So this is how the process of making wax candle. Very different way of showing it. Seashells to necklace. Firstly, you have to collect the seashells. Secondly, uh, making hole in the seashells through drill machine, and then make a necklace and an earring. Now, additionally, I've done earring here. Tie your shoelaces. Could another be a question? So firstly, you're wearing shoe, then you are tightening the shoe, you can write it down also. Tightening the laces. Okay? Then tying up the laces. Then fixing it up by a kind of a band. So this is more elaborately shown to you all. Let us move on. Color transformation. Another very uh, favorite question of NIFT. Remember, they give you 10 grids in which you have to show the transformation. Maybe here the question was, show the life cycle of a leaf or different colors of leaf. So here it is foliage green, um, light green. Then of course, once it start drying up brown, maroon, darker maroon as it show a dying, little grayish, little grayish, gray color. Then comes the next one, the white for the uh, death and rebirth with a yellowish foliage green. Similarly, Cocoon to butterfly. 
Now remember one thing I have mentioned here, and may, maybe some of you can uh, uh, reread it afterwards. You should explain what you have done. That is a footnote is an important factor of color transformation in such question. The freshness blooms into inspiring green, which cripples into the shades of earthy green, turning into lifeless installation of nature thereby. Repeating the process again depicted by the repetition of the great one color in the last one here. Quite similar to the first one is the last one. It is a perfect example of metamorphosis here shown by nature where a green small caterpillar grows into a pupae. Now, this may not be 100%. Metamorphosis from larva to a uh, butterfly is shown here. The exam, examiner may ask you from egg to butterfly. Then you have to add or maybe replace so many green with something like white color here of the egg of the um, butterfly. Anyway, so green small caterpillar grows into a pupae which forms a dull white cocoon here. Around it, it morphs inside the shell into a bright, beautiful monarch butterfly which breaks open the cage and liberated itself from the fresh for the fresh new world. So these two slides have been used for the butterfly. You could reduce some greens and um, that means larva is carried too long. You could add some red and orange kind of colors of butterfly along or in between blue and dark blue. So that is about Color transformation, a full story carries only with color, and that's the beauty of NIFT. I remember 2016, the whole CAT examination was conducted around color theory, color transformation, color emotion, et cetera, et cetera. Design and draw a range of toothbrushes in four boxes, choosing any four personality traits from the list provided below. Indicate your chosen trait at the top of the box. You may use the required mediums to add colors. Hyperactive, for a hyperactive person, what would be the brush? Careless person, saintly person, violent, lazy, workaholic, winner, loser. You have to just select four emotions. I mean, four types of people and then design your toothbrush. That's what we are going through is the product design, right? So here it is, careless. Super soft Bristol. Small three-sided hair of the Bristol. Okay. And how it works, it should be shown here. Okay. Secondly, careless person may forget using toothbrush. So my modern brush, what I've designed is having an alarm. It will play a song when you are brushing with it. And that will make it very interesting for a careless person. Alarm is important, as is important the sound playing in the brush. A violent person, aggressive, too aggressive. Super soft, a small, tiny bristle. Giso, Jorzy. But since they are super soft, very small, will not harm the gums. And likewise, other. There is a refill here, toothpaste level, indicator, lettuce finger cap with bristle, ergonomic grip, push to inject toothpaste, 
color of the brush is also described. Calm. To an aggressive person, you would like to have blue color given, light blue color. Finger cap bring about no harm to others. Then a lazy person. Orange color that will stimulate the the desire for doing a brush, brushing, then vacuum grip with with bottom as rubber grip. There should be a vacuum here to hold the brush in place. Okay, soft, flexible brush heads. Hyperactive person quite similar, but here it is, you know, he's not violent. He is hyperactive. So, come down to him with use of blue, indicating calmness, small handle. Now, these people, if they do it with uh, uh, long handle, the effect of the bristle on the gums will be harming. Soft, small, super soft bristles and also zigzag bristle. That is the suggestion. And this one, again, you must have seen such brushes like they turn and twist if a uh, hyperactive person is too fast in brushing. <laughs> So friends, I'm sure you all are liking it. And let me tell you, more about it. If there is a direct question, I will attend it in a minute or two. But before that, let me give you a thanks and also tell you that 767656 Double four double zero is the number that you might have been getting um, otherwise also, where you can contact me for some more of your uh, curiosity to be solved. So I will really give a little vote of thanks to people who have been um, staying with me, but at the same time, let me attend some of their questions. Now, BF Tech uh, has got, uh, I mean, there's a question saying that, sir, what about BF Tech weightage, please? Now, BF Tech is only aptitude test. And the same aptitude test timing, which is uh, two hours for the B desk course is uh, an aptitude increase paper uh, of three hours. And of course, technical questions are added up there. Again, uh, the weightage is like 80, 20. 20 is for personal interview and um, yeah. So later on, once you are selected through the first one. Uh, sir, can we uh, write keys or explanation of all the drawing questions? Yeah, ideally you should, you should point it out. Uh, some of the salient feature of what you have done. That is important. So that it becomes a little explanatory apart from visual explanation. Uh, sir, is the admit card out? Not actually uh, till now, but maybe when I go out of the studio, might have been getting it. But so far, uh, to my knowledge, it is not uh, there. So that's about the important questions. Uh, again, somebody has helped, or rather thanked me for speaking in English. So thank you very much, not a problem. It's just a matter of how you communicate. And in India, a little 
English, the H-I-N-G, is also good enough. The matter is, you convey your message, you convey your thoughts, and more so for designer, through the designs also, just not verbal. So any which way, these are welcome signs for NIFT. And friends, I wish you all the best. Keep in touch. If you haven't subscribed my channel, don't forget to subscribe it right now because you may get something more interesting. For example, what material to carry, I'm going to give you another video for that. So uh, likewise, and yes, after having cleared or maybe expecting to clear the first round of NIFT, you can, you should contact me for preparation of your situation test, which is very typically interesting as well as a little complex um, in NIFT. And we have got separate batches for that. And we do entertain outside a student, apart from our annual student, to join us in situation test as well. So I wish you all the best for your uh, final exam. There are a couple of more questions coming up. Now, somebody is saying that uh, she is uh, uh, not good at quantitative aptitude and mess. It's up to your preparation, friends, if you are wet. Um, joined us earlier, uh, my other friend uh, who look after the aptitude, uh, third one look after the English comprehension, and one more gentleman uh, looking after the GK part of it. Of course, all together comprising of 30%, but it is very important for a competitive exam to score everywhere. But particularly GAT and CAT, you should be uh, pretty vigilant in doing that. Okay, friends, bye-bye for now. More questions, you can um, write down this number and contact me through it, through WhatsApp messages.